I recently did one or similar one. I did the uh, silver white hair tutorial, how I got my hair silver white. But as you saw, my roots uh, got very, very yellow and I used a temporary solution for that. Stargazer white hair dye uh, for my roots. If you haven't watched that video, you can go to that one first if you're curious. Uh, and it worked. Uh, it's very healthy. It's not healthy, but it's not damaging your hair. So it's a very quick and uh, good solution if you don't want to ruin your hair. And as you maybe can see now, my hair is not that yellow. It's more blonde. It was two weeks since I did the my roots. The sun and the silver shampoo have, have made my yellow roots more whitish. They're not that yellow anymore. I also have a white hair spray that I use when I take selfies or photographs <laughs> so it looks more white. But now I'm gonna damage my hair again. I'm gonna do my roots the same color as uh, this hair. This uh, and sorry, my hair is super, super, super dirty. Super dirty. I hope it's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. So yeah, this is gonna be more like my hair routine. Uh, I know I explained everything in my last video as well. Uh, but I'm gonna do the hair routine again for you guys. Uh, last time I bleached my hair with Mood. Uh, and I have one left. But this time I'm gonna use L'Oreal, L'Oreal Paris Ultra Light, Extra Light Cool Silver Blonde, so it's the 11.11, it's very whitish. So I'm gonna use this one and then I'm gonna use my uh, hair routine and I'm gonna show you guys again so you don't miss that part. So yeah, I talk so much. I have been out in the sun for like 3 hours earlier today so I'm super red and all like sweaty and tired <laughs> as I told you it's a very good solution if you want to bleach your hair naturally just go out in the sun you can use some uh, lemons like squeeze it on your roots uh, beer is a good solution too uh, I got some tips uh, in the comments that you can use purple hair dye for your yellow roots and it will turn more silver-ish like silver shampoo but a color but I'm not gonna try that today I'm gonna do the coloring instead so yeah this was a long time since I did these so you're just gonna take number one into number two like the standard now it's like so much pollen outside and I have a really bad allergy so my door my doors my nose is all sore and I have like I'm like bleeding from my nose and I have uh, bru uh, bruises oh well my nose is very uh, sensitive right now and I sniffed the bleach stupid 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 why did I do that did you see my reaction what the fuck okay Number one. So this is like a conditioner, so you use this after the bleach or dye. And then you, this is apparently a new one, you use this one every third week after the dye. And you leave it on for 5 to 10 minutes. It's like a hair mask, I guess. So, you need gloves. I don't have a pencil. Okay, I have the pencil now, or the brush, or whatever. I have my gloves. Okay, then just uh, start. I already got roots, dark roots. They're gonna turn yellow. I'm not looking forward to that part. It's, it's a tiny bit this time. Why is my eyes crying? It did it last time, and this is not as strong as the other one, so this is weird. Oh my god! I'm bleaching my brows! <laughs> and my shirt. Hallelujah. 
I really hope I don't bleach my brow. No, 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 no. I'm bleaching my whole room. This gel is very, like, watery. And I don't like that because I spill very easily with this one. I have done my whole hair now. I'm gonna leave this on, let's see for how long. This one is so strong, more strong than the bleaching thing. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this on for 40 minutes, I think. Yeah, let's see how not yellow they turn out. Yep, okay, I'm gonna start uh, cooking some food and maybe sit on the balcony in the sun and, and bleach my hair. <laughs> and I will be back. There's like one second for you guys. <laughs> so I'm back. This is how it turned out. As you can see, it's a lot lighter, almost lighter than my extensions. I hope it's gonna turn more gray silver when um, I have used my silver shampoo a bit so it will match my <laughs> extensions. If not, I'm gonna bleach my extensions. <laughs> yeah, I'm super happy with the result. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have this hair color for a while now. After the dye, I used my silver shampoo and I used L'Oreal Paris uh, silver uh, and I had it in for a while, as long as possible. And then after that one, I used this pearl silver from Maria Nila, Stockholm. I leave it in, or leave it on, I leave it on, on my hair for three to ten minutes, so ten minutes. They have this one in black and I know you can use the black one like really quick and it's gonna turn silver grey. So I think I'm gonna try to use that technique instead of this one because this is so silver. It's like really really silver. And then I use the number three from the package package to set the hair mask. This is like a hair mask. So that's everything every step that I did and this is uh, probably the routine I'm sorry my piercings are not very healthy after the bleach <laughs> so yeah this is my hair routine how I turn my yellow hair to silver so yeah I'm super happy with the result I hope you guys like this uh, video and I hope that this one was a bit better than my last one the result turned out much better I hope you like this a routine of mine uh, you can follow me on snapchat you can follow me on my Swedish blog uh, you can translate it to English and uh, my Tumblr I am very updated on Instagram and blog not snapchat that much yet but yeah so I will see you in the next one or on my social media